Hey guys, what's up? It's 277. Welcome back to Tolkien Craft Dude, myself, Fan Modi. Hi! Hey, good not too long. I'd love hop starting it, shall we? So, in between episodes, we added some more people. We don't have all the Patreons in yet. But, not all. Uh, but we, we got a good amount, and we'll add more. Why are all of them standing? Get off of the table, you heathens! Jesus! Look at all these oh, people. Get off of there. Get Mazel tov. They're dancing on the table. Uh, but there you go. Get off, the, get off the table. That works, right? Damn it, Aaliyah Joe. Get off. Okay, there. Touch you. Stay. We can stand tight and get off of there. Jesus. Yeah, <sighs> only I can see on the table. Yes. We're adventure lads. Yeah. That, that's our adventure. <laughs> so, there's a lot of people in here. Uh, we will get all of Snoop and I's Patreons put in soon enough. Um, it just... got a lot of people to add in, so... Oh yeah. Get, would you get off the table? Also, Challenger? we solved the eye. Oh my god, monkey fur. <laughs> He's... I forgot how majestic your skin was. <laughs> it's a wood golem. Yep. It's adorable. Yeah, uh, yeah you figured out the eye issue. Yep. We As you can that. see, if you look at Challenger's lovely face, he no longer has weird yep. looking blinky eyes. Yep. He, he, um, he still is. Oh, oh, he's a fire. Okay, fire department. I thought yeah. he was. Yeah, he's a, wearing like caution, like the fire department caution tape stuff. I thought he was a reflective tape. A uh, someone who was in like jail, but also really liked bees. You know, oh. bees. Hey there, there you are, Mikey. Hi, Mikey. Hi, buddy. Hi, Mikey. Anyways. And then, uh, yeah, so we went through added <laughs> a bunch of people. <laughs> Gerald is just crouching over here. Gerald's cr he crept into the whole thing. He's been wanting to be part of something for a long time. He just kind of crept in here. Look at him being all sneaky. He's bending down. Is he the same size as everyone else? Eh, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so um, <clears throat> now oh, we, we jokes. Yeah. We we got we got to think of what we want to do here. Now the question that comes to mind is, when it comes to building, do we do it legit, or do we do it in creative? Do we do it on camera? Do we do it off camera? I, think that's I guess it kind of depends, like what it's for. Like um, at least in my mind, it kind of depends on what it's for. Like obviously, I need I want to build a blood altar and get some blood magic set up because I have this living chest plate. I want to get the rest of the living set yep. and then figure out how exactly am I going to use these bracelets of that I got, living training bracelets. Yeah, it's so it, it, it's it, it's a ways in, but that's okay. No, no, no. Yeah. I don't want to I don't want to spawn in anything that is part of the uh, a mod. Yeah. So like no, but like yeah. just like a standard like tavern or a simple building, yeah, just, a house, a plaza, something like that. I don't see why you couldn't just creative that. Now I want to see real quick. Oh, what the hell am I under? Why does this look weird? Oh. Um, let's see. Uh, what are those blocks called? They're the ones that are like wooden, but they have like little beams and stuff to go across them. Wooden, but little beams that go across them. Oh yeah, you know, like uh, we made, we had to make some in Towncraft for the builder's hut. Oh, uh, planed wood. Yeah, it well, had plain in the word in it, but it wasn't timber. Yeah, may maybe that was it. Frames. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have that kind of style of building, though. Okay. Because um, those always look cool. Because you know what I would love to make is like a like a town that like kind of like a, like a, a town in Assassin's Creed. Gotcha. You know, different level rooftops. You know, we have immersive engineering in this, right? Maybe. Yeah. So like zip lines just randomly around little little corridors in between buildings to other streets or little unknown plazas just some places for for all of our people to kind of just cruise around in oh that'd be kind of neat oh their ears okay sammy has bunny ears i was like are you balding oh poor thing no she's got little floppy ears yeah well i have bunny ears all right so um so yeah it's a lot of questions. look it's cat mistress hi oh, yep she's there i can only see half your face because your hair covers the rest of it i know but uh oh. Ninja Girl Tess is so cute. Tiny. And itty bitty. Look at this. She looks like a doll. Like someone lost their Ninja Girl Jess doll. And and then just 
<laughs> and then cold guy is just still sitting here dancing. And creepy Gerald, just why are you? Hey, don't judge him. All right, whatever. He's but, one with the bossy cobblestone. A, a, any any of the uh, the patrons that have you know uh, Snoop and I's patrons that haven't seen your name, who knows? Maybe I'll get bored after next episode and just add all the diamond patrons, everybody's. That that way nobody's left out. Heather's yeah. and Krista's and Haley's. It doesn't take that long. It just yeah. we only have so much time you know to record. So indeed. All right. So now what I want was talking about last steps. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to get in here, you don't have to be a Patreon. That's just who we're using to establish things and, and learn how it's to. Because we got the names right in. now. Yeah, we have a list of them right in front of us. So, um, if any of you guys want to join us, not this episode. This is episode thirty, but episode thirty-one, which is going to be the, the next episode in a couple of days after this one. In the comments of episode specific, we're not going to look at the comments of this video. We're not going to look at the comments of the last video, but but episode Watching thirty-one. Uh, put your name in. Put your Minecraft in your Minecraft PC in-game name. It has yep. to be spelled right, proper. We I, I remember when we did this last time. There's so many people that was like, "Why did you never put me in?" And I would message back, "Cause you never gave me your right name." So make sure you give that to us right. And we'll add, you know, we'll add five from uh, from my video and five from Snoop's video. So. Yep. All right. So what Will I want to what I wanted to look at is I want to look at the book real quick. And I don't oh, know. Yeah. So it looks like there's all these grand quests, and then there's the job board, lands of Middle Earth. Oh, that's a map. Holy jeez. Yeah, you didn't know that. I never saw this. Yeah, when I was mentioning, oh, we, the the quests that are on the lands of Middle Earth, they recharge. It's a daily quest, but te you know, technically, but it teleports you to the location, and once you go there, you could it'll like be a fast travel thing. Huh, I did not know that. Yeah, that's what the map's for. So every time you go to, um, and turn off Nether. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, I just got a response back from Great Oyder about the the questions I asked him. Um, yeah, so the 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 quest. The Lands of Middle Earth quest, they unlock waypoints. So right oh. now we have Trollshaws, Mythithel, Rivendell, Front Porch, uh, Bjorn's Hall, Stonyford, Dolgulder, Erebor, Eskaroth. We have those guys unlocked because mm -hmm. we've been there. Yeah. And then there's, and, there's daily like side quests there as well. Is that what you're saying? It's basically that it is a daily quest. That each one of them is a quest. Oh, to so unlock it. Oh, when this you is find a quest it. line. Okay that he's com he's very creatively set up to be like a thing. So you click on it, and it's already there. It has no requirements. It's just ready to claim. And the reward is a console command, which will teleport you to that location, and it has a, like a three-hour cooldown or something like that. Okay, so, or one hour cooldown. so it doesn't look like he put in any like normal like mod pack quest lines, which is fine, because that's really not what he's going for. Yeah, he wanted to have the adventure. Yeah, which which is the point of the pack, which is which is great. And like I said, we got so engulfed caught in up it, in the adventure, we forgot about the lad part. I don't know what that means. Yeah, wait, what? Yeah. So, uh, did he question one about the prefab? Okay, so the prefab buildings. Uh, if we have World Edit still installed, we can import schematics for whatever we want. Okay, that's how he did his stuff. So we don't have World Edit, unfortunately. But I think we could put it on yeah, here. But we don't but, have we don't have schematics. And if I'm gonna yeah. build something, I'm just I gonna. Think, yeah, yeah. I think it has a bunch of schematics that we can get though. Yeah, I just thought if they were preloaded into those blocks, you know, like small house one, small house two, small house three, medium house, you know, one, medium oh, house yeah, yeah, two, yeah. and we could just spawn in the block, spawn in the key, and unlock it. It would make this place grow a lot faster. So, the 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 thing was is I really did enjoy making um, the uh, original Snooty and Empire doing the building. The only difference between now and then is I had a lot more time in my hands back then. <laughs> so that's the only reason. Oh, so. yeah. So we do have the building here, if you guys don't remember. I know we're spending some time here, but we're just kind of taking a break from running around. This was the building that gave us the portal to the end, to the deep dark, to the nether... Is that it? Was it those three? And that's it. Okay. Yeah, and Deep Dark and Nether. Yeah. Um, which, you know, aren't necessarily, I think, part of any of his plot lines. 
He just wanted to give you a place. And then... Yeah, so you can go and you can mess around. You can kill the Ender Dragon. You can, you know, go farm pigmen. And you can go mm-hmm. dig stuff up and mine in your deep dark and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we got a person here who sells meats and spawn eggs, which is nice. Because we have a lot of coins that we've gotten. Uh, this person will sell us all kinds of potions and our own brewing stands. Uh, this person sells... Uh, seeds. Oh, oh! They he sells all the gardens too. Oh, really? And for two silver coins, a unbreakable paper uh, paper matic. Oh Long yeah, for farming. Smokes, so that's yeah. all your all your farming needs. Also, a, a, a lawn flamingo. Yeah. And a garden gnome. And, then, and a couple uh, little swings. This oh, is nice. a currency exchange with that person. And this one, I think, is the bank. Let me store yep. some things, please. Yeah, so you can, you can... Yeah, it's your own personal bank. That's cool. I know, Luna. She's like, yeah, I love banks. Uh, this guy over here, which I think we'll be using, seems to sell, like, a lot of the magic. Oh, some enchanted books. Some R's magic Oh, there's magic Infinity. Ooh. R's magic and yeah, stuff. Yeah, R's magic and stuff. Um... I can still steal that oh, that armor from the stand. Nice. A miner sells uh, an unbreaking paper hammer. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, Allo is paper hammer, so it's only stone level. That's but, fine. But does it have any... But I wonder if you can use the sharpening. But I'm curious if it has any uh, things open. Because all it has is writable and unbreaking, so shouldn't it have some... If it's all paper, shouldn't it have some... Uh, what should I call it on it? I think because it was it was all the modifiers were used to make for the unbreakable enchantment. Oh, okay. Because it's I think that's four. It'll give it four modifiers, and that's four of the. No, five modifiers. It's five of the un- obsidian plates or something like that to do it. Yeah. yeah. Tombstones, coal, gravel. All right, and then a whole bunch of wood. The lumberjack. It's what one wood and one. Trees and wood and uh, wooden, basic wooden saplings oh, okay. and leaves other, and then other forest woods. Trees Chest of drawers, dressers, wardrobe, sideboards, gr- um, forestry wood, witch wood, that kind of stuff. Redemption, could you please stop pushing me? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, and then, unfortunately, I think the deco crap person disappeared. I'm guessing so. This gate's been open, so I don't know. Okay. Uh, then we have a post office. We have a junker. Uh, this village has been around for ages. Enjoy your stay here. Okay. Uh, by how? Okay. Uh, I just talked about the village, and then we got your your post per your uh, mailman. If you want to send messages, to people. And then of course where we bought the house before, and then we also have back here the uh, stables. For the horses and whatnot, which is kind of cool. This is where we got our, our original horses. Yep. I'm trying to see if it's a play or not. <coughs> what are you trying to What are you trying to play? Maybe I have to have him. Um. So I have. Uh... Hold on. Hold on. Get rid of this guy. Uh, I was told that I can. Oh, yeah, because he messaged me. Except this guy here. It's market noise. Just a little guy. Hi, little guy. Little guy, hi. Um, visible now. Right? You can still see his floating loot. Make him full size so there's just a floating loot there. <laughs> yes. Do 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 do. No, but uh, supposedly all we gotta do is uh, MVC clone in one of the server tabs, at least in under the advanced where you set the job, set it to Bard, which is set to Bard, mm-hmm. set it to not the jukebox option. Okay, turn off Nether, never, which is has off distance is no. Okay. We'll play that until the sound finishes if you are not in range. Um, so I have the sound chosen. It's supposed to be is on distance of zero. Wouldn't zero. Walk up to it. On distance of zero, I mean it should be it should be playing almost constantly. 
Um, Maybe the distance should not. be further because zero is... Yeah, I'll figure it out. Like, put it at one. Maybe it only plays within one block of him. It's also this, which is the same thing. <laughs> it just said hi to me. Hi. Because if I if the what I want to do is I it's the mis, miscellaneous ambient medieval city market, uh -huh. and I don't know if you could hear it. I don't know. Maybe there's something you got to reset. To, I can't hear. Can you hear it? I can hear it because only because I I press the play on it to make it play oh. on demand. Yeah, I know. And it doesn't last very long. It's just like right around here to play. But it's that background I, I, talking, chattering, you know, people hawking their wares kind of stuff. Yeah. So I'll figure it out. some of the, the people, you may not, you know, we're just kind of throwing people in the market here, but we're going to try and expand this out. We're going to need a farm. Some mm -hmm. of you guys might be farmers. Now, they have the weird cows in this. What are these cows? Like, we got a guy here. Better Let's agriculture, see. Highland cow, Black okay, Angus okay. cow. So they're not, they're not actually like, uh, um, we can't get like they're not like fluid cows or anything like that. Right, okay. a Charolais cow or Charolais. 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 So yeah, uh, ideas you guys might have. Let us know. This is you guys are just as part of much of the Studio Empire as we are. So, but I think well, um, maybe not this episode because we're getting close to the end. But we're gonna. All right, so I think. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy is an open gaping. Oh, it's a goatee. I thought he just had an open gaping mouth right here. This guy just, oh, oh, I mean, well, here. his mouth is open. It's got a little black. But I thought all of that was his oh. mouth as I ran up, and he was just way like, like he, it's a black tongue. Like he ate his chin. That's how excited he was. Oh, jeez. So. Oh, oh. All right. I'm I'm excited for this. So yeah, we gotta but you guys need to give us ideas of, of stuff we need to put in here. Now, I'm thinking, Snoop, are we gonna build our own houses? Um well the thing is we do have a house already. Yeah, but it's so far away. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm digging this area personally. You can mine part it over there. <laughs> because because the, it's the pinnacle of, of laziness to set up a minecart situation that takes us from the marketplace to the house and back. Yeah, but but then but we could also just teleport there even quicker. And then we can put people on the minecart and like push them along because we're mean. Right. Just shove them into the minecart. Be like great. That. I like that idea. Now, is this is just an open land or is there a border on this? I wonder. Uh, let me check. Uh, do, 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 do. No, just... you know we've flown around this place a lot, so. I think yeah, I'm not sure if we've if we've left the 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 reach of the mountains. Yeah. Um, I think this is a flat land. Okay. So what our plans are, guys, is we want to have a nice mixture of the adventuring and the playing with mods and the working on our town. Oh, like wow. Like I said, what? what? All right, why uh, why it's actually really nice. Oh, there's the flat. Okay. <laughs> There's, there's a okay, a there's actually a world border here. Oh, does it stop you? Yeah, so I see where the end of the chunks are and where this whole thing is, and it's like standard uh, Minecraft or, or you know, gen. Yeah. But then we have the mountainside. There's a nice big bay, big open bay right here. <clears throat> and uh, and then it's a world border. Yeah. So, yeah, fun you, stuff. You can see where it is. I, 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 I'm assuming he, he thinks that we're you know most people aren't going to fly out that far, so... But not <laughs> us, because we're idiots. We're so, we're dumb. So yeah, I'm I'm really I'm I'm reinvigorated, if you will. So I think next episode, I know you really want to get into blood magic. I know we want to start working on getting a smeltery. So we're not going to spawn that stuff in. But right. but you know what? If we can buy some of the stuff from the market, that doesn't hurt either. Sniper, what are you doing out here? <laughs> what happened? Where is your skin? What happened? Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta fix that. That's Dustin Bice. He oh. cha he changed his in-game name, but I still have his old in-game name on the whitelist because it still works. Oh. Um, so because you know that you know it it's still the same UUID. 
but I got I gotta go get I gotta get his actual right name. I think it's just Dustin Bice. Did you move him? Yeah, they're here. Oh, just Dustin Bice with the lowercase b. Yeah. Okay, but it still says sniper. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, you can probably change that to Dustin Bice too. Or I guess I could do that. So there you go. Perfect. Nice. Problem solved. Okay, cool. So yeah, we do have more people we're going to have to add. I don't know if we're going to have them by next episode, but I promise episode 32, we're going to have all the Patreons in here. We'll have some we'll better have some ideas. buildings. Yeah. But I think uh, next episode, I think maybe I'll start working on maybe... I think I want to build a blacksmith. I think blacksmith hut? Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically for the smeltery and whatnot, because I know you want to make some... I could totally do like, like a little like arc occult hut somewhere around here, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, even with, even with that, you could, like, oh, you know what you could do? You could even make, like, a creepy cave, like, right over here. Oh, yeah. That, right. yeah, that's the, that's the, so the water source for the, for the Ars Magica stuff is here, which would be great to put, like, an Ars Magica building around here. Yeah. But, yeah, off the side over here. Like right there in that rock Put a creepy right cave, put some redstone all over the place, like, blood. Yeah. And then that will be, like, where the blood magic stuff happens. And then we dig down. Oh, it'd be kind of cool. Okay. Well, we're going to get started on that. So I'm working on some of the stuff. So, um, <coughs> remember, next episode uh, that we're going to record here in just a few minutes is going to be the one that we want you to put your guys' name in. Now, keep in mind, you got to be patient. Uh, I think a lot of you guys are going to want to be added. But, um, but we're only going to do about five at a time. Just because, you know, five, five, what, five a week. Not a five an episode. So episode 31 will be you guys putting your names in. Episode 32, we'll add five people. And then episode 34, you put your names in. Episode 35, we'll add people and whatnot. And yep. uh, that way, you know, you guys can always check back. So make sure you, you come back for that stuff. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoy. Oh, it's your outro. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. You know, I hope you didn't enjoy nothing. Yeah, I'm, so you, I'm so used to it. I'm so, hi, Mikey. Guys, I'm so I want to thank you all for joining this episode of Tolkien Craft 3 with myself and Modi101. Right. If you are new to either of our channels, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment, love seeing that kind of thing. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Host Havoc. Whoop. If you're looking for quality Minecraft servers and more, go check out Host Havoc in the description down below. Use the referral link. We know who has the absolute best fans. It's clearly us. Yeah, look at them Once right again, here. We look forward to seeing you guys added in here. Be sure to put your names on the next episode. Not this one, but the next one. And then uh, we'll get you in place. So once again, guys, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.